Welcome to the Atomos Ninja 5 unboxing. I'm going to do the setup, also show you how to do a firmware update to the unit. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel for similar content. Welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer. In today's episode, I am super excited to be unboxing the Atomos Ninja 5. The Atomos Ninja 5. Before I completely unbox the unit, there are two accessories that you need to purchase to make this a complete package. The first one is the Atmos Ninja 5 allows you to record onto an SSD drive. In this case, I purchased a Western Digital 500 gigabyte SSD drive. The second accessory you need to purchase is the ability for it to transfer off the SSD onto your desktop or laptop. For that, you need a cable. So the cable I purchased is from StarTech. So I purchased a USB type A to a SATA adapter. This is a USB 3.1 adapter cable for SATA drives. It's a USB type A, allows me to plug it into my computer, and then has the serial ATA input to attach my SSD. And this is what will allow me to take the footage off the SSD using the cable and put it onto my desktop or laptop. So those are two things that you need to consider when you purchase the Atomos Ninja 5. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing it. So now we get to unbox, this is the fun part, which is unboxing the actual unit itself. Get rid of that. I am gonna zoom in to talk about some of the specs. So let's go through some of the specs of the Atomos Ninja 5. So it records up to 4K 60p, construction is 360 grams, one and a quarter inch thin, which is fantastic because right now I'm using an Aperture 7 inch uh, LCD monitor as my video out, and I find it quite big and it's a bit heavy. So when I have it on my camera, and especially on a tripod, I can see it tipping over. Another nice feature is a, a 5.2 inch uh, IPS touch screen. 1000 nit, which is fantastic because now I can use this outside. I don't know, I don't need to have a sunshade going over it. So the playback monitor is 10.5 stops at HDR log, uh, focus and white balance. So it's peaking and vector scope. Uh, the media is 500 megabytes per second, SATA 3, uh, and then has an expansion port capability as well. So the weight. Um, so in terms of size, it's 151 by 91.5 by 31.5. The screen is 1920 by 1080. The screen is 1920 by 1080, 427 PPI and 16.9 native. It does support 3D LUT support. Uh, I can explain that at a different time. And it's HDR IPS. All right, so inside it contains the unit itself, a caddy, a 12 volt, um, AC power supply and a quick start guide. The one thing I'm happy about is it works with ProRes, DS and Jar, Apple, Final Cut Pro, and so forth. So the footage I'm gonna be using on this is going to be on my DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's go to unboxing. So it has a nice tab here. Nice case as a felt case. Register for a three year warranty. Download the latest Atmos driver, which I will do a video tutorial on how to do that as well as part of this unboxing. the core inch screw. You can see there's a fan. If you can see the cop in here, there's actually a heat sink in here as well. This is where you plug in your SSD. I believe this is where you plug in the power supply. On the size HDMI in, HDMI out. On the other side has the mic in line, headphone jack, a remote, I think that's if you purchase that separately, and the power button. All right, it's 
feels pretty lightweight. Construction feels good. Let's see what else is in the box. I'm gonna put this aside. Welcome to the Animus family. This is by the Quick Start Guide. There's two boxes in here. Is the power eliminator. So I think this is the power supply that you can plug in through here. This is this SSD caddy. Oh, there's screws. Uh, I will show you how to install it in a second. And then the power supply. So. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, so some universal AC adapters, which is nice. All right. So I'm going to put this in. It's not sent to place. So these are the pieces. The Animus Ninja. The AC adapter the power supply and the SSD caddy. So this is everything in the box. Here's the caddy. Here's my SSD. I'm going to open it up. Remove before installing. Okay, so it's a okay, so it's a Western Digital 500 gigabyte SSD drive. Let me try and figure out how to install this. So you just lift it up. Gives you four screws. This is my Gerber Center Drive. This is an amazing multi-tool. I'm gonna do a review on this later. Look at this. As you can see, this bottom plate has the serial ATA hole right there, so I'm going to insert it this way. Have it lined up so you can see the serial port coming out. All right. And then I'm going to put the lid on. It's nice and tight. All four holes. This real ATA is showing, which is perfect. Now I am just going to put the screws in. All right, so now this is done. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to download the latest driver and I'll get back to you. The first thing we're gonna do is check the current firmware that's on Atomos Ninja 5. I'm gonna take this off, so satisfying. All right, uh, first we're gonna plug it in. So it has this adapter. So I'm gonna turn it around. You see there's a two pins there. It goes up to here. Snaps into place. I'm gonna take this end.
Okay, so now I've plugged this in through the AC adapter they have. And now I'm going to plug in the SSD. Okay, so one thing to note when you do use this caddy, the SSD does protrude from the unit itself. So if I look at it this way. If I look at it this way, you can see that it does stick out. All right, now everything's plugged in. I'm going to turn it on. It's almost like instantaneous. It came on very quickly. First thing I'm going to do is check the firmware. So click on the bottom right hand. Scroll through. Hit info. You can see the firmware version is 10.1 and the newest version as of February, no, sorry, as of March 2020, the new version of the firmware is 10.2. So we are gonna go and update that. But before I do that, I need to format my card. Format. Format drive. I guess I think it's done. I'll record. It's saying now four hours and 46. Okay, so in order to update the firmware, we actually need to pull out the solid state drive out. Before I do that, I did talk about the StarTech cable. This is the cable I was referring to. I'm just gonna move this unit out of the way. So this is the StarTech USB 3.1, 10 gigabytes per second adapter cable for SATA drives. So I'll pull the SSD from here. We just pull it out. There's no button to release. And then you can see the two connection types. Connect. And then this plugs into my computer. Let's get uh, going. I'll leave a link in the description below for the Atomos support page. So on the support page, you want you click on how do I update my Atomos firmware. It's going to bring you to the page and on the page itself has a direct link to the firmware update. So I just clicked on that. Now it's going to ask you to select your product. So in our case, it'd be the Ninja 5. And I'm going to select down, download firmware update. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder of my desktop. Hit save. Now that's saved to my desktop, I mean, now that's saved to my download folder, I'm going to plug in the SSD from the Animus hard drive. So using that SATA cable adapter, plug it in. And it's going to show up as Ninja 5, or in my case, an N drive. Now I'm going to extract the firmware. Hit extract. I'm going to double click. So here's the actual firmware itself. I'm going to copy it and paste it to my Ninja 5. In this case, again, it's in my case, it's an N drive. Right-click, paste, and now it is on my SSD. Now we have to disconnect it from the computer safely so we can plug it back into the Animus 5. So on the Windows desktop, on the bottom right-hand side, there's an up arrow. I'm going to right-click and eject ASM 10.5x, which is my hard drive. And that's it. Now we can plug it back into the Animus drive to update it. All right, so now I have installed the firmware onto the root of the SSD. Turns around. Make sure it's nice and tight. Turn it back on. Just up turning firmware, do not remove.
in. So it's done. I think from the instructions I read, you have to open it again. You have to turn it on again. There you go. Now we check the firmware setting. Let's go to info and it says 10.2. Firmware is successfully loaded. All right. So this completes the tutorial of the unboxing, the setup and the firmware update. Stay tuned for my next video, which I'm going to talk about like the actual func features and functions and using with my X-T3. Alright, so thank you for watching and until next time.